Hello everyone, this is Asa from Ford Machinery. Today let me show you the working principle of the metal jig. Please follow me. The video is divided into the following four parts. Measure the ore density, beneficiation, dehydration, measure the density of the redoubts. Let's see the first step. We use white and black rocks as experimental materials for the following two reasons. First, there is a large density difference between barite and waste rock. White and black have high contrast, which can better show the effect of beneficiation. We measure the density of pure barite and waste rock separately. Then we mix them together and use it as the raw material for jig beneficiation, which we call raw ore. Next, we measure its density. In the end, we get the density of the barite, waste rock, and the raw ore, as shown in the figure. The second step is beneficiation. First, let me introduce the working principle of the jig machine. The jig machine is a device that uses the density difference between useful minerals and waste rock to benefit age. The settling velocity of dense minerals is fast, and low density minerals is low. Finally, the denser minerals are discharged from the concentrate port and the less dense minerals are discharged from the tailings port. As shown in the figure, this is a complete beneficiation process. Let's take a look at how the jig machine works. During the operation, we need to continuously add circulating water we will not only consume a lot of water resources, but also not pollute the environment. After running for a while, we stopped and looked at the inside of the jig. We can clearly see that the upper material is black and its density is low. When we peel off the black minerals, we can see that the lower layer is all white minerals, whose density is high. This is a phenomenon that the jet machine separates light and heavy minerals. We use this feature to improve the ore grade. The third step, dehydration. We can see that the discharge ports of the jig machine are three. The middle one is a concentrate slot for collecting heavy minerals. The tailing slots on both sides are used to collect light minerals. The fourth step is to measure the density of concentrate and tailings. Before doing that, we need to dehydrate them to prevent water in the minerals from causing errors in the redoubt. Through calculation, we got their density data, as shown in the figure. Finally, let me summarize the entire beneficiation process as follows. First, we mix two minerals with different densities and treat them as raw ore. Then, we send the raw ore to the jig machine for beneficiation processing. Finally, the jig machine successfully separated light minerals and heavy minerals so as to achieve the purpose of improving the ore grade. This is how the jig machine works. If you have any questions, feel free to contact me. This is Asa. See you next time.